Right, so hello, my name's Matt. Just a quick video for Monty, but anyone else who wants to have a quick idea how to set up a Wacom uh, 15X on a uh, multi monitor system, um, a quick tip on how to set up your pen and uh, once you've got your drivers installed. I'm using Windows 8, I'm using three monitors. I've got two programs open at the moment. I've got uh, uh, InDesign open and I've also got uh, Adobe Photoshop open um, where I start just to get two settings set up and out of the way is if you actually uh, open up your Wacom tablet properties let me just uh, get the camera going here right, you've got uh, just here I'm going to basically show you you've got your pen settings there if you just look click on that and then down here you've got the first thing to set up is uh, what I do with the 15X because the 15X doesn't have any buttons on the actual tablet is I set up a display toggle button on the right click so you just choose it out of the menu display toggle you select that and then whenever you press right click it goes from basically going on multi monitor moving around the monitors I'm hovering the pen over the tablet at the moment, you can't see that, but anyway. Um, you go to from that, and then if, you, if I right click, you'll see the mouse disappears. But it's now actually on the actual graphics tablet itself. And you'll see that whenever I put the, wherever I put the pen, and then when I right click again on the, on, on the actual, Right, it disappears. Right click on that little button there and it will, uh, it will alt alternate between that and then it will go back to sort of. Let me just get, get it in the mouth. Basically, it goes back from that and then when I right click, it will goes back to working directly on the tablet and then controlling. So basically, you can use it as a mouse. Uh, on all of your monitors or then or just press on your back on tablet itself the second setting that I set up and just make sure you calibrate within Wacom tablet properties is you've got your your pressure setting and literally this is just a calibration of you, know, you press as hard as you can and the harder you press it goes from full and it just picks up and detects what a light pressure is just a very small amount of pressure to a, a large pressure. Right, so once you've set that up, uh, that, that will be the first thing that you do when you do. You can. There's all other settings that you can do, and obviously you can make application specific settings within Wacom tablet tablet properties. Go to Wacom.com and it will show you how to set up this. So once that's set up, close that down. As you can see in this window here, I've got InDesign. I'm not using InDesign at the moment. So basically, I'm going to move the camera over to. Uh, base, uh, what I'm doing in Photoshop and I'll just show you this tablet working as it should uh, I've just sold this to a guy named Monty and this video is more for him than anyone else but anyone else wants to watch it so on this second monitor here I've got Photoshop set up I've got uh, uh, two files open um, one's actually one file is open on this screen and one file is open on the actual graphics tablet itself got all your normal layout you can drag and drop this so I can just pick this taskbar up and I can bring it down to the t tablet and if you have a little look here I've just brought the toolbar down to the tablet or you can just or I can gr grab it again and put it back up and redock it in its main thing so in a multi monitor set up you can put your toolbars or your palettes or whatever you want you can move it from screen to screen uh, all I want to do here is just demonstrate uh, just a, a few little functions so uh, for example you get the zoom and I'm going to select zoom out and then if you move down to here I've got a document I'm going to go back onto here 
you see on the screen itself there's a little well you can't really see that but anyway that's a, a, a minus a magnifying glass every time I click on it I've got a, a sort of a multi-screen capture here that's zooming in and it's, that's zooming out at the moment and if I right click again take the mouse off go up to the top I know I've now got the zoom in function enabled and I'm zooming back in just by touching on the screen and what I want to do is just I want to just show uh, demonstrate uh, to the person that I've sold this tablet to that the uh, pressure sensitivity is working now as you see there's a, a white area there and I'm going to basically right click again go up to the other screen and pick a brush and what I'm going to also show you is on that screen I've got the brush sorts of palette open and I've picked a soft brush as you can see and I've also uh, basically put, using smoothing but I've also got shape dynamics in, enabled here which is a ticky player got all sorts of other settings you can put on your brush so basically I've got a soft brush one that will spread if, if I press hard or it will do a thin line if I press it softly um, I've got the hardness set to very very low so you can see here there's virtually no hardness on the brush there really isn't any hardness on the brush so basically uh, if I very press very very lightly that's going to give me a thin line and if I press hard it's going to give me a quite a fat line so I'll just show you that right so I'm going to come back down to the actual graphics tablet itself zoom out a bit so basically here's the Wacom tablet working as it should and literally I'm going to come down with a brush so right click again now you see that's quite a large brush I'm just going to try and do this so you can see now if I press very 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 gently it's a thin line if I press a bit harder it's a thicker line you see it goes from lighter to harder to harder to harder to harder see the line gets bigger and then press very hard it's a very thick line so you see that the tablet's working that's a very sort of very I mean I'm zoomed in quite a lot as well if you so you can go from very thin just very very light touches to very you know pressing harder it's a soft brush so you can see it's spreading out so it's, it's drawing graphics as it, as it should and what I want to also show uh, my new friend Monty who's just bought the tablet is there was a problem with this particular tablet with the in interior bits of the screen delaminating and I just want to show him that it still works all the way to the edge of the screen as it should even though internally the screen has sort of come un unstuck this is an old tablet so it's not perfect but it still works right to the edge soft hard there you go hard there you go all the way right to the edge still select anything you want open up any programs you want that's opening up on the other screen there yeah you know, um, and basically everything works for us now let me just select for example I'll go up to this screen and I'll select an eraser so right click to go up to that screen select the eraser function and right click again come back down to the tablet and anything that I've just done I can erase there you go so the, the tablet works as it should soft hard and this is a hard edge brush you see and it's erase, it's working all the way to the very edge of the screen there you go the work on Cintiq so use your shape dynamics use all your functions of Photoshop get the most out of your tablet uh, it's all compatible 
uh, works a dream even with an old tablet like a Cintiq 15 uh, still great as a graphic design tool uh, hope you enjoyed the videos no, I'm not, it's what, this is like sort of my first ever tutorial video of any type and uh, really really more for Monty who's just bought the um, tablet but I hope you enjoyed it and uh, just a little insight in how to use the Wacom Cintiq 15 with Adobe products use it as a normal graphics tablet or just to do your artwork thank you very much cheers bye bye